talent collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Mighty Morphin Perantis head from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection from Hasbro. This one looks pretty cool. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of a fan of the giant monsters. I know a lot of people don't like them as much because they're not 100% in scale with the Rangers. But I've honestly been enjoying the line. I loved Eye Guy and I'm really excited for Perantis head here. Really cool Tom Whale and box art here of Perantis head on the side wrapping around to the front. Over here on this side, we get kind of a zoomed-in version of it. And then on the back here, just a really fun uh, product shot of Perantis head there. Not really anything going on on the top or the bottom. Let's go ahead, let's get him out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. Here is Perantis head out of the packaging, and he looks great. They did a really nice job with this guy. The colors are so bright and vibrant and fun. The paint applications are so good. You have kind of blue kind of gradiating into the white here same thing with the white into the pink here the eyes look really really good i know they're just kind of one color but they really just stand out and i love the green down here on the legs he's got his tail back here you do have to plug this fin in this comes in separate in the box but you just plug it into the back he looks great honestly he really really looks good articulation wise the head's kind of on a ball joint but it's kind of limited uh, I believe it's mostly just so that you can open and close the mouth. This is kind of a separate piece, and you can see how that wiggles a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit harder to see now that I've plugged the fin in, but you can kind of see here that this is a separate piece, and you can kind of see it moving there. And then this sits on top on a ball joint. So you can definitely open the mouth, and the mouth interior is painted, which is very nice. Let me see if I can... It's a little hard to see, but... The inside is painted there. It's a kind of, and it's pretty much the same color as the eyes. Let's see if I can, I really just can't open it. No light, no light shines inside there. No, no light gets inside. But anyway, it does open and close there. Very nice. Uh, the shoulders are a little weird to me. I can't tell if this is actually attached to the arm or if it's attached to the shoulder, but he does have the butterfly joints. Uh, the hinge out to the side is kind of impeded by this piece here, but you do get a rotation around no problem. You have a bicep swivel there. You have double jointed elbows, as you can see. You have the wrist hinge and swivel as well. He has a closed fist in the box and then kind of a gripping hand here. He does come with some alternate hands we'll get to in a moment. He's got that ball joint in the torso there as well as the ab crunch, which is a nice solid click there. Uh, he does have normal uh, joints here for the hip. So you got a ball joint there. You can kick out to the side. You can kick forward. Can't really go too far back because of the way the butt's molded there. You do have double jointed knees. And then you got a ton of articulation down here in the ankle. So there's a movement here at kind of the top of this giant ball joint. And then there's the uh, hinge here. And then you have side to side down here as well. So he's definitely got ankle articulation covered. You even have a ball joint down here in the tail, which is really cool. Just all in all, aesthetically, he looks great. I feel like the articulation is pretty much what you'd need. I wish you could get a little bit more out to the side and the shoulders, but it's really not that big a deal. You do have the uh, butterfly joints there, so I feel like you can get whatever poses you would need to. Uh, I believe you can get the hand up here to the mouth, so when we bring in his uh, fish flute nunchucks, we got the FFNs here. Uh, we take the FFNs and we go ahead and we put them in his hand, which should be simple enough to do. Uh, real quick, let's take a look at these. So, uh, really nice molded uh, on the fish here. You got really nice uh, kind of malleable plastic here for the chain, which is painted silver, which works pretty well. So let me go ahead and get these into his hands here. He really just does not want to cooperate. I don't want to break them because they're kind of a softer plastic, but I do need to get them in here. So maybe we'll come in at this section. It seems like it'd be easier to come in here and then slide them up, but it really doesn't want to get in there. And I really don't want to, there we go. Okay. So we will slide these. Ooh, did I like, hmm, let's see if I can slide these down. Come along then. I'm just really afraid of like, I, I feel like you could, like just cut these or tear these because they are kind of thin but let's see if we can bring this up so that he can kind of play the fish flute 
or it just looks like he wants a snack, you know, one or the other. But yeah, you can kind of pull that off. If you remember the episode, he kind of uses this to control the Zords. So you can raise it up to the mouth there. Honestly, you can just put it all the way in the mouth like he's eating it. But I think that works. I feel like the articulation's there. You can pull off what you need to. Um, the alternate hands that he comes with are these kind of like, you know, generic monster, like, going to attack you hands, which are kind of cool. And then he comes with this effect piece. I think this is the one that came with uh, the In Space Black Ranger. And it kind of has these little indentations to hook around his, like, moon lance. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these here. Am I supposed to, like, attach these to the fish somehow so it kind of looks like they're swooshing when, he, when he's flinging them at people? They don't really attach in any significant way. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with these. I've tried to, like, put the fin of the fish through that little indent to see if that does anything. It really doesn't. Um... I don't know why. This is just a reuse of something they already had, and quite frankly, I don't think this works here at all. Could be using it incorrectly. I'm sure that's very possible, but I just don't see that working very well for this guy. But I don't need it, to be honest. He looks good. He does what I need him to do. He looks like a giant fish monster. I think the paint applications on him are fantastic. The articulation's pretty good. Like I said, the shoulders are a little impeded there, but I do really like the molding there, so I feel like the pads are worth it. I don't really need a ton of articulation there as long as I can get the flute up to the mouth. I feel like that's good enough for me. I appreciate the little ball joint here in the back of the tail. I think that's cool. I think for the most part, he's got all the articulation you would need, and I love the way he looks. So I think this guy is definitely worth checking out. Uh probably on sale honestly right now at this point he's a little bit older but i think he's probably still around so if you're looking to check this guy out see if you can go find a good sale price for him but i definitely think he's worth adding to the collection nice large solid monster figure and just real quick to scale him with one of the rangers he is going to be a little bit larger but he's a monster i'm okay with him being a little bit larger i don't really need them to be the same size i feel like you know, they're, they're monsters, they're menacing, they should seem a little bit larger and, you know, more of a threat. So I'm not really one to have a problem with that. I understand why some people wish they were exactly the same scale, but for me personally, it's not that big of a deal. I think they still work. Plus, if you have any, like, Megazord action figures, they would work really great with that as well. So you can kind of simulate the larger fights in the city. But yeah! Really great figure. Definitely worth checking out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.